I have a lot of gripes with music school. I spent a total of six years, uh, four years getting a bachelor's of music in cello performance and two years getting a master's in early music performance. I developed a lot of feelings and opinions about music school and about what I thought was going to make me successful versus what school thought was going to make me successful. I think there are a lot of things fundamentally wrong with how we teach classical music in the United States, but I want to focus a little bit now on just how to make the most of being in music school. I think it's really important to invest in what interests you. If you're studying classical music, or really any kind of institutionalized music, you're going to have to survey quite a bit of things. In addition to just playing your instrument, you're going to have to play in a variety of ensembles, you're going to have to take music theory, ear training, probably some piano skills, so you're going to be spread across a lot of different things. While all these skills are useful, which is why they're being given to you in a music program, it's really important to understand which ones matter the most to you so that you can really invest in them. A lot of music majors get overwhelmed early on because you're juggling so many different musical responsibilities, but I find the best way to deal with that is really prioritize what matters most to you as a musician so you can be sure that you're always giving that your all. Develop your own priorities as a musician. There are going to be a lot of teachers, advisors, and known people who are going to be trying to tell you what's important. Practically speaking, this is a really individual, personal choice. So although these people can offer you some guidance and offer their experience, it's important for you to decide for yourself what's most important to you. If you start compromising your artistic goals in college, it won't get any better as you leave school. I find too many people get sucked into what the school is telling them, what their advisors are telling them, and really what that does is actually handicap you in forming your own opinions about what's important to you as a musician. Think about the big picture. There's a lot more to the music world than just what's going on inside your conservatory walls. When I was in school, I saw a lot of students really in tunnel vision just about what was going on at school. For a lot of performance majors, that would be the seating audition for orchestra, maybe playing in master class in front of your peers. And while these things are really important and gain us valuable experience, there's a lot more to the music world than these small little tasks. When you're out in the real world, you're not going to have a studio class that you play for every few weeks. There are going to be real professional challenges at hand, and you want to be developing the skills on how to handle those kinds of challenges as well. When you're in school, everything is sort of handed to you. You're given very specific criteria and curriculum, you're given very specific assignments, and what's expected of you is also fairly specific. When you get out into the music world, nobody is asking you for anything like that. You have to decide those things for yourself. So while you want to meet the expectations and fulfill your duties as a student, you also want to be thinking much bigger than just doing what you're being told to do. Begin your online presence while you're in school. Some people have conflicting ideas about whether it's appropriate or a good idea to share videos of you playing while you're still learning and still improving, though I would argue that we're still learning and improving all the time, even outside of school. But if you're not comfortable sharing full performances of yourself while you're still a student, you can still be reaching out on social media and connecting with people about your upcoming concerts, about maybe a solo recital that you're giving. It's never too soon to start building your online presence as a musician. Whether you're doing it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, there are so many outlets to put yourself as a musician out there in the world, and it's never too soon to start. Especially while you're in school, you're constantly going to have new content and new things to talk about. Whether you're working on a really interesting assignment for music theory class, you've got a great orchestra concert coming up, you're always going to have things to talk about while you're in school. Pay attention to the people that you like at school. And I don't mean just friends, though friends are important too. I'm talking about the musicians that really inspire you that you want to work with. Both of you are going to be in the same boat when you finish school. You're going to be looking for musicians to play with, and you're going to be looking for work. So it's good to start forming these relationships while you're in school, so you have lots of people to play with and potentially form ensembles with when you're done with school. It can be hard once you're in the professional scene to find musicians that you have good musical chemistry and good personal chemistry with. So if you find some of those while you're in school, you don't want to let them go. Take advantage of the opportunities given to you as a student. Students are sort of held on a pedestal compared to young professionals because they're still studying. 
Because of that, that means you're eligible for a lot more things, whether it's grants, scholarships, competitions. There are so many things in the classical music world that are geared towards students. You're gonna find that suddenly you're gonna be in your early 20s, you're no longer a student, but you still feel young, and now you're not eligible for any of that stuff anymore. So keep in mind that being a student only lasts a couple years, and there are a lot of opportunities that you should try to take while you're still eligible for them. I hope this gives you some insight into navigating the conservatory scene. Music school is a wonderful place, but it also presents a lot of challenges and sometimes unhealthy environments. Try to stay focused on what matters to you as a musician and an artist and not get weighed down by feeling competitive towards others or feeling challenged by others who have different ideals and values. If you enjoy my video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can also help support me make more videos like this by becoming my patron on Patreon. Be sure to leave your questions in the comments, and if you go to music school and have some tips to offer others, you can leave those too. 